Hey Ospreys, I'm Brandon Thigpen, here for your North Florida Minute. It's been a packed week at home with conference action from the court to the fields, including some A-Sun victories for both tennis teams. I've got all that and more in last week's recap. We start with women's golf, finishing up play in the Ocala Spring Invite Tuesday. The Ospreys finished in sixth place out of 18 schools, just one stroke short of a top five finish. Junior Emily Alpi medaled in a third place finish, while teammates Kelly Alwyn and Belinda George finished in the top 25 cut. Also on Tuesday, baseball hosted Savannah State, routing a 13-1 victory over the Tigers in just five and a half innings before officials called the game due to weather. On Wednesday, the Ospreys were in Daytona taking on BCU. It took 11 innings, but North Florida put together a six-run tally to get the 11-5 win. Back home in Harmon Stadium for the weekend, North Florida fell in its first two games against Gulf Coast, 9-7 and 7-4. But they ended the weekend in redemption, edging out the 6-5 victory. Their overall record stands at 20-11 and are 1-2 in conference play. Now we turn to softball, hitting the road for South Carolina last week. On Thursday, the Ospreys were at the University of South Carolina, but lost both games in the doubleheader, 8-zip and then 5-2. They were 100 miles north for the weekend, taking on upstate. But the Ospreys couldn't stop the Spartans' home run game and fell in all three games, 9-1, 15-4, and shut out Sunday, 7-zip. North Florida is 21-18 on the season and 3-6 and in conference play. Now we travel to Macon, Georgia, where sand volleyball was in conference action at Mercer. Friday was a split day. UNF fell to Mercer 3-2, but got the win against Gulf Coast 3-2. Saturday fared better for North Florida in redemption, with 3-2 wins over both Mercer and Gulf Coast. The pair of Julie Tremblay and Kimberly Ferguson were the deciding matches with a pair of three-set thrillers on Saturday. UNF is 8-6 on the season and 3-1 and in conference play. Back at home, both North Florida tennis squads hosted conference action. On Thursday, men's tennis shut out Kennesaw State 4-zip, and the women's squad also delivered a 4-zip shutout to the Owls. Both squads continued their win streak to Saturday with victories over USC Upstate. The men 4-3 and the women on senior day 6-1. The men's overall record stands at 15-4 and, and the women are 12-3 overall. Both men and women are 4-0 in A-Sun play. Outdoor track and field had a stellar season opener this weekend with the UNF Spring Invitational. The men's squad saw several top finishers, including Bobby Harris and Steven Kruppa at the high jump, going 2-4. Michael D'Amato finishing second in a 3,000-meter steeplechase, and Nick Morkin capturing the 1,500-meter title. The women also put up a solid showing with first-place finishes by Ellie Baker, Vanessa Filbert, and Alessandra Valdez, just to name a few. Now let's take a look at next week's action. Women's golf is in action today and tomorrow at the web.com intercollegiate tournament at Marsh Landing Country Club here in Jacksonville, Florida. Sand volleyball is in action Wednesday in DeLand for a doubleheader against Stetson at 2 and 4. Women's tennis hosts Stetson Tuesday at 10 a.m. in the UNF Tennis Complex. On Saturday, the Ospreys are in Fort Myers taking on Gulf Coast at 10 a.m. Men's tennis hosts Stetson also, but on Thursday at 4. Then, the Ospreys take on Gulf Coast away Saturday night at 5. Baseball continues conference play, hosting Northern Kentucky. Thursday and Friday night's games start at 6, and Saturday's game starts at 1. Softball is in Gainesville Wednesday, taking on Florida. First pitch is scheduled for 6.05. Then they get ready for more conference play this weekend, taking on Northern Kentucky. Friday's doubleheaders are set for 3 and 5 p.m., and Saturday's game starts at 11 a.m. Outdoor track and field continues their spring season in Gainesville at the Florida Relays Friday and Saturday. I'm Brandon Thigpen for North Florida Sports Zone.